you should be advised by your healthcare practitioner about which activities to avoid and for how long. Welcome to Medical Made Easy. In this video, we are going to discuss new surgical procedures for enlarged prostates, transurethral resection of the prostate, transurethral incision of the prostate, transurethral microwave thermotherapy, thermal treatment using water vapor, water jet treatment by robot, embolization, Surgeons created what is today regarded as the gold standard treatment for benign prostatic hyperplasia, an age-related condition in which the flow of urine is obstructed by an enlarged prostate almost a century ago. This surgery, known as transurethral resection of the prostate, or TURP, is available to men who do not react to BPH medications. It entails using an electric loop to cut extra prostate tissue. About 90% of men who receive treatment experience long-lasting relief. Although many are left unable to ejaculate and usually have to spend a night in the hospital recovering, there is less chance of problems and quicker recovery with more recent minimally invasive BPH procedures. These alternative techniques treat BPH in a different method than a TURP or TURP, which cuts directly into the prostate. For example, the obstructive tissues may be treated with lasers, steam, or microwaves. The FDA approved another minimally invasive technique earlier this year. Adding to the growing popularity of these procedures, the PPH catheter system, known as Optulium, offered long-lasting alleviation from BPH symptoms that persisted even after four years. In the event that medication is insufficient to relieve your BPH symptoms, surgery or other procedures may be helpful. Would rather not attempt medication are unable to urinate, experience renal issues, continue to get urine retract infections, blood in the urine or bladder stones. If you have an untreated urinary tract infection, surgery or other procedures may not be a choice for you. Diseases of the urethral structures a history of urinary tract surgery or radiation therapy for the prostate. A neurological condition like multiple sclerosis or Parkinson's disease. Adverse consequences are possible with any type of prostate surgery. Following the procedure, you may experience the following health problems. Reflux of semen during ejaculation which causes it to flow backward into the bladder rather than out via the penis, accidental pee leakage, infection of the urinary tract, tearing, problems with erection. An enlarged prostate can be treated with a variety of surgeries and other procedures. Prostate transurethral resection or TERP a scope is a narrow, lightweight instrument that is placed into the urethra. All of the prostate is removed by the surgeon, save for its exterior. TERP frequently produces rapid symptom relief. Some also experience increased urine flow shortly after the surgery. You may require a catheter to empty your bladder for a short period of time following TERP. Transurethral Incision of the Prostate, TUIP The urethra is penetrated using a lit scope. The prostate gland is sliced by the surgeon once or twice. Urine can travel through the urethra more easily as a result of this. If your prostate gland is small or slightly enlarged, TUIP may be a possibility for you. 
It can also be a possibility if you have medical issues that make undergoing another surgery too dangerous. Transurethral Microwave Thermotherapy TUMT involves inserting a specialized catheter into the prostate region via the urethra. The inner part of the enlarged prostate gland is destroyed by the microwave energy coming from the catheter. P flow is improved and the prostate decreases as a result. You may only have partial symptom relief with TUMT. Additionally, it can take some time to see benefits. Generally speaking, this operation is reserved for extremely rare cases involving tiny prostates because the condition may recur. Laser treatment. Overgrown prostate tissue is destroyed or removed with a high energy laser compared to non-laser surgery. Laser therapy carries a lower chance of adverse consequences. It may be utilized in patients who use blood thinners and should not undergo other prostate treatments. Options for laser therapy include relative methods. Prostate tissue that obstructs urine flow is destroyed by these. Prostate ablation with a holmium laser and photoselective vaporization of the prostate. PVP are the two examples of these techniques. After surgery, ablative techniques may result in bothersome symptoms. Rarely, a second treatment to remove prostate tissue may eventually be required. Nuclear techniques. One of these therapies is prostatic holmium laser inoculation, HOLEP. Prostate tissue that obstructs urine flow is often removed and tissue regrowth is inhibited. It is possible to screen for prostate cancer and other health issue using the excised tissue. Lifting of the prostate. The prostate's side valves are compressed using special tags. Urine flow may be improved as a result. If the prostate gland's center portion does not obstruct the flow of urine, a prostate lift may be a possibility. Compared to many other surgical therapies, there is a lower chance of experiencing sexual adverse effects. Thermal treatment using water vapor. The urethra is equipped with a device. It produces steam out of water. The excess prostate tissue is worn away by this. Thermal treatment using water vapor can lessen and enlarge prostate symptoms. In comparison to many other surgical therapies, it is less likely to have adverse effects on sexual function. Water jet treatment by robot. During this process, a device is guided into the urethra using robotic instruments and imaging examinations. The apparatus expels excess prostate tissue by firing tiny, powerful water jets. This may lessen and enlarge prostate's symptoms. Certain negative effects of TURP, transurethral resection of prostate, can also be caused by robotic water jet treatment. Robotic or open protestectomy. There are one or more cuts in the region of the lower abdomen. This makes the prostate accessible to the surgeon for tissue removal. This kind of surgery is typically performed if the prostate is large or extremely large. After then, a brief hospital stay is frequently required. There is a greater chance that bleeding during the procedure will require the use of donated blood. Embolization During this process, certain regions of the prostate's blood supply are cut off. The prostate shrinks as a result of this. Prostate artery embolization may aid some BPH patients in the short term according to specific data. However, the data is still insufficient for physicians to consistently suggest this operation over other more accessible BPH methods. Further investigation is required. 
surgical teams with specialized training are required to perform embolization due to the possibility of complications. The aftercare. How your enlarged prostate is treated will determine how you should be followed up with. You should be advised by your healthcare practitioner about which activities to avoid and for how long. That's it for today's video. If you liked today's video and found it informative, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, do not forget to share it with your loved ones. See you next time. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Bye-bye.